the J, the I, the M, the M, the Y, the J, the I, the M is Jimmy. It's Jimmy. This one is also unique too because Ubisoft approached you and initially you were kind of apprehensive. What was it about that meeting, going in and meeting these guys that kind of tipped you over the edge and made you make that call to Charlie to say we have to make this? The first moment was when I walked into the studio and I met this gentleman, middle-aged, he had this big thick gray beard, he was, had rings all over his fingers and uh, he was very interested. He had a cane, but he clearly didn't need it, it was more just like a prop. And I said, uh, oh, what do you do? He said, I'm a creative director. And I said, oh, what's a creative director? And he sort of like looked out into the distance and he like took a moment and then he looked back at me and he said, I build worlds. <laughs> and I was like, bitch, I'm making a show about you. <laughs> I called Charlie, I was like, we gotta, we have to make a show about these guys. And then from that point forward, sitting and talking with people, so many different people different diverse opinions, different genders, different ba ethnic backgrounds, people from all over the world that have all come together for their love of games, to make games. And yet, they all had different ideas of what those games should be, different ideas of how to make those games, and then, on top of that, all the dynamics that come with just working with people. And it just felt like, wow, I hadn't seen a show that took place in this world before, which is really surprising. So uh, I took it back to Charlie and then Megan, we wrote the script and that was that. Ah. What do you hope that viewers really gain when they watch the series? And well, first of all, I hope they laugh. I mean, that's the most important thing in a comedy. But, you know, the difference between this show is, as, as opposed to Sunny is that, you know, Sunny, essentially at this point, 14 years in, we're live action cartoon characters and that's by design. But this show is is about human beings, and we want to make sure that 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 you really feel something, empathy for these people as you're watching them. And yes, it should be funny, but you should really be empathizing with the struggles that all of them are going through. Because hopefully, whether you play games or not, you recognize what it is to be stuck together with people, and that's what the show is. What you learn about games in general that kind of blew you away or surprised you, just either about the making of them or, or throughout this process researching them? Well, how similar it is to our business. You know, you have so many different positions, so many different departments, and so many different people and different personalities all working together for a common goal. And of course, egos are going to clash because everybody feels so passionately about their particular job. And it sometimes can work in direct conflict with what some of the other people want. And so I'm used to seeing that all day long. And because of that, but most importantly, because they love it. The people that make the games love the game. They might hate each other, they might hate the people <laughs> making them, but they love the games themselves. And that's important, and that's what we wanted to make sure when we're making the show, that it felt authentic. That the gaming community realized that we were not, because I think a lot through popular cultures, a lot of the shows that I've seen or movies I've seen in the past or depictions of the industry has been sort of like geeky and nerdy and just making fun of the community. We want to disp dispense with that immediately and make sure that they understood that that we, this is a show for and by people who love games. Now, Always Sunny is kind of a story about a group of people who are stuck together because of their failures, whereas this one is kind of a group of people who are together because of their success. Do you feel that your own success has kind of influenced uh, the way that you approach this show versus Always Sunny as well? Well, the thing about Sunny that I've always felt, uh, and I still continue to feel to this day, is that I'm not so sure we are successful. <laughs> I mean, the truth of the matter is we've been on for 14 years, and but I don't know, i still not 100% sure that people are watching it. Every once in a while, some guy or a woman, a woman recently came up to me and she had like a gray streak in her hair. I figured she was like, you know, my age. And she said, I've been watching you since I was a kid. And I was like, Damn, we've been doing this for a long time, and I guess people are watching it. So I suppose we're successful, but I don't really look at it. Well, I know everyone's going to be watching this one. So I hope so. Thank you so I hope much so. for Thank talking you. with us. Thank you.